We are back at Radio Blast answering the questions from our dear listeners with Brother Joseph. As we said, the last question was uh, about evangelization. There is a beloved brother who wants to learn how to evangelize, and he's asking which is the right way to do it. Now, you, Brother Joseph, must have a lot of experience in this. Where do you want me to start? Mistakes or the... <laughs> the mistakes and all, everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, evangelization uh, can be the easiest thing in the world, the most difficult. It depends uh, if you are uh, full heart for Jesus. Like Jesus said in the parable of the sower, mm-hmm. the good seed. Uh, see, the church is divided false seed and true seed. Uh, the, ch- the seed that goes onto the rocks and dies right away. And then there is a seed that goes on good ground and produces 190, 60, 10, whatever. Okay. So you decide if you want to give your heart uh, to Jesus uh, a match. Like some you can give to Facebook, some you can give to video games, <laughs> some you can give to TV, some you can give to boyfriend, husband, wife, etc. Nothing wrong having a, a relationship with the husband or wife, but it might, it's very important that they don't come before Jesus. Yes. Because always come in the life of a disciple a situation that the wife, the husband doesn't want to evangelize, doesn't want to do a project for the Lord. That that's a time when you full heart for Jesus and well. I love you, dear wife, dear husband, very much. I'm faithful to you and doing all I can, but I, I cannot ask me to be faithful to you, loyal to you more than Jesus. Mm-hmm. The same applies between uh, parents and children. You see, in Matthew chapter 10, you see that there is a division. Jesus said, I don't come to bring unity, uh, but a sword. Don't bring peace, but a sword. From now on, a family should be divided situation like Lot and his wife, etc. She didn't want to leave Sodom, apparently. So let's talk about people who would like to give 100% to Jesus and they really want to evangelize, to be active. Which is the right way to evangelize? In any case, uh, in whatever family situation you are, you must not deny Jesus and take care of your family the best you can, but then you have to follow Jesus one way or the other. So the best way to evangelize is everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere. Everywhere, wherever you are. You can go for trips, uh, you want to visit certain cities, certain towns. I know the story of this guy in, um, did I tell you the story about the guy who was banging the pot? Mm, I don't know. Which one? The guy in China was going around from town to town. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know the story? Do you want to hear? Yeah, tell us. No, tell us. Well, in China he couldn't preach the gospel because the authority would jump on him. Yeah. So he was, going, he was mo- moving around. Moving around the best way to evangelize because the devil always has problems for you. If it's not from your family, from your neighbors, from the authority. So he was just going to the town, get a pot and a scoop and bang, 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 bang. People come out and say, wonder what's going on here. <laughs> so when you get a little crowd, five, ten people, twenty, whatever, sometimes more, he would, he would evangelize, get them saved. Receive Jesus Christ Amen. and everything. And then he, he would appoint uh, the most uh, inspiring, the most full heart, the most uh, devoted, the receptive, and say, you are uh, the pastor of this, um, of this town. Of the, of this. And then he would move to the next uh, city, the next village, he would just walk. Be, uh, then the next day, or the, after a couple of days, the authority would come and say, okay, me, blah, blah, blah. too late. You oh, that's good. <laughs> they would come after a week, whatever. You understand? Yes. You have to move around. So it's good that the authorities are not always so efficient. <laughs> that works in our benefit, actually. <laughs> so one of the best ways to evangelize, what I get out of this story, is to be moving around, because that's also kind of your protection. Exactly. Especially the way the world is going, is like if we, here we are in South America, and, uh, for example, we've been in a situation that uh, the churches around have been less than cooperative. Yes. You know, some churches call everybody the devil doesn't belong to a certain denomination. Mm-hmm. If you don't do everything, or call I bought to I bought a certain doctrine. So it's like a lot of times, some churches receive us, some churches don't receive us. Some church accept us as Christian only. Other churches, no, you need to have a label. And yeah, sometimes you're yeah, like in a, in, a, in a spiritual desert. Plus, uh, you have to see if you decide to get a job and you evangelize on the side, like they do the Jehovah Witness, mm-hmm. they have their own message, of course. Well, that is one way you can do it. Paul was building tents and evangelizing sometimes when he didn't have money. Yeah. So you have to do that. Now let's uh, picture somebody who has a normal life, a normal family, job, a normal life, but he would like to go, for example, evangelize on the streets. How do you teach somebody to evangelize on the road? Okay, in the same, wherever you are, you have to listen to people. After the witnessing and the evangelist is listen. Be quiet, don't talk. 
listen to people. And then a lot of time, uh, evangelists, uh, they have a problem that the guy is talking about nonsense, and they said they jump in with the Bible. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You mm -hmm. have to listen even to the nonsense sometimes. And make friends. You have to earn your right to preach. Okay. And then when the person sees your politeness, eventually when he runs out of breath, he's going to listen to you. And that's uh, your time. Mm -hmm. Best way to evangelize is by sharing what God did in your life. You can sleep at night. Since you got saved, uh, you can sleep. Tell them. Okay. You were sick. God healed you. Tell them. Mm -hmm. Before getting saved, you were into pornography, alcohol, uh, running after girls, uh, or sad, uh, or lonely, or stupid, or <laughs> selfish, or whatever <laughs> your problem was. Uh, tell them. Since yes. I have Jesus, amen. I changed it. That's, that's a witnessing and not preaching. Preaching a Pharisee can do that. God it's is strong, great. Uh, God can do whatever he wants. Uh, that's the worst way to evangelize. Or Amen. Because people will nod their head. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like a, more Islam, you know. Allah Akbar, God is great. Okay, fine. But <laughs> how can God help me now, today? You, Lord, so your testimony comes in. I was sick. I prayed. He healed me. I was depressed. I was selfish. I was uh, looking for people to make me happy. And then Jesus showed me I was supposed to look for people that I could make happy. That's witnessing. When I uh, got witnessed, evangelized by your family, it's sad to say this, but what really worked in my heart to get close to Jesus was that you told me the condition of the religions and told me, don't worry about religions. You don't have to change your religion, yeah, you have your to do Baptist. That too. Because the more you exposed to me the true condition, which I already knew, and I didn't want to hear about religions, yeah. but the more you exposed it to me, you made a difference between Jesus and religions. And I said, wow, Jesus, I want. The religions, I always knew they are like this. So thank you for confirming it to me. But you presented a Jesus to me which is not religious, it's not condemning. He receives me, he loves me, he forgives me. And that really touched my heart. Yeah, to show exactly. them the love of Jesus. That's what touched me, the light I saw in the eyes of the missionaries and the love they showed. Just really showed the love of Jesus. Not sermons and preachings, repent, yeah. nothing. You see, we should preach Jesus. Like Jesus sent us to preach salvation, to preach love. The, the, the world knows enough hell. Let's show them a little heaven. Show them an inspiring Jesus. Dress up like they do. If they wear a necklace, you wear a necklace. If they fix the hair, you fix your hair. It's okay. You can wear a bracelet. You can wear a... It's okay. It's when you worship your, the golden things that's wrong. But if you just wear it for a reason... Mm -hmm. Okay, sometimes our girls here, they put makeup purposely to show that we are not dead uh, religious. <laughs> yes. You know, they do purposely. <laughs> yes, it's true. Okay. So, you, yeah, it's true. Before you build, uh, you have to clean, uh, clean away the rubble, the, the garbage. And uh, during the centuries, the churches have, have spread so much garbage all over the world in the name of Jesus that today the world is vaccinated against Jesus. Now they start doing publicity. I'm proud to say I'm not religious. I'm proud I don't believe in God. You see, see today the, the testimony of the churches is to make people lose faith. Because they're so dead, they're so sad, that they're so repetitive, hmm. most of them. Thank God for the good ones. Amen. Thank God for the churches who are free or young, uh, who are youthful, who Amen. go on the street to tell jokes, uh, who are not afraid to listen to Celine Dion. They're not afraid uh, to <laughs> be free. So now, how to get somebody saved? You want to hear that? Yes. Salvation is very simple. That's good. It doesn't have to be my church or your church. It can be just a very simple. When you listen to somebody long enough that you deserved, you earned your right to talk, after you listen and you listen and you share, then you talk about sports, you talk about something silly, you talk about politics and the taxes, at the end the guy is going to run out of arguments. It could be that this could last one minute, three minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes. It depends mm -hmm. on the situation. Okay. And then after that, slowly, you so share your testimony. The best way to evangelize somebody, get somebody converted, is your testimony. That's good. The guy doesn't believe in the Bible, doesn't believe in God, the Trinity. Okay, so don't talk about that stuff. Talk mm -hmm. about how God helped you. Amen. In Matthew 23, in the beginning, Jesus says, The Father is a seat uh, of Moses' uh, seat. So whatever they say, you should uh, do. Amen. But Amen. Don't, uh, don't do like they do, because they... They say, but they do not. I understand. understand? Yes. So, in other words, the Pharisee, they knew the doctrines. So today there are uh, religions that think just because they know the doctrines are better than the Jehovah's Witness, 
they go to heaven. You don't go to heaven because you have the doctrines. You don't go to heaven because you give up baptizing water. You don't go to heaven because you repeat a prayer, and then after that, everybody tells you born again. You don't go to heaven for that. Mm-hmm. You don't go to heaven because you belong to my church or another church. You go to heaven because Jesus came into your heart, and the fruits will show. Amen. If your fruits don't show Jesus, you're not saved. You can belong to the greatest born-again church. If you don't show Jesus, the Savior, uh, you're not saved. You have to show Jesus, his love. Not the commandments, not the doctrines that any Jehovah witness can do, any, anybody. You have to show the love of Jesus. You have to show the face of Jesus, which is love. You got that? So okay. then the best way to evangelize is to be friendly, talk about the things the other people like, and... Uh, even if it's not something you would spend time on, but just to become one and to show your respect and real interest in that person. And then you start giving your personal testimony to encourage them to turn to Jesus. Sometimes you can get them saved in uh, half an hour, 20 minutes, uh, five minutes, mm-hmm. uh, sometimes three minutes. Depends on how long you have. Yes. Sometimes you're so fast that you have to give a gospel track and walk away. Yes. But even two, three minutes you get them saved. The person is receptive. That's good. It's good yeah. to always have gospel tracts with you in your pockets, mm-hmm. in your bags. Yeah. Also, because you never know when people don't have time to listen, you just give them a message. So make sure you do that. Print also, for yourself or you can write to us. We can send you our yeah. gospel tracts. You can read them and check free. them. We give them free. Yes. Also buy some New Testaments. New Testament, keep in your car, or keep them handy. And when somebody is really accepted, doesn't have a Bible, give them a New Testament. Go That's buy nice. it. Then when the person is ready to receive Jesus, that is on a Yes channel, Okay, then the salvation of prayer is very simple. Like it could take two minutes, it could take uh, five minutes, it could take ten minutes, whatever it takes. And then here is a prayer. Okay, you tell the person, say, would you like to pray with me to receive Jesus? Don't say, Amen. can I pray for you? So, sure, pray while I sleep. Mm-hmm. No, it's not, can I pray for you? It's, can I pray with you? Mm-hmm. You have to use his mouth. Okay. Okay, then you can share some scripture, John 1 to 12, Romans 10, verse 9 and 13, powerful scripture for salvation. I like very much uh, Romans 10, 9, uh, and uh, 13. Confess with your mouth. Okay. Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And then when the person reads that scripture, for example, so he sees it's not your trip, it's actually in the Bible, then you ask him to pray with you. Okay? Yes. Would you would like to be the, the sheep and witness? <laughs> yes. Them? So, would you like to pray with me? Yes. I right, would let's like go to. together. So, pray with me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my sins. Thank you for dying for me on the cross. Thank you for dying for me on the cross. On my place. In my place. Thank you for forgiving me, Jesus. Thank you for forgiving me, Come Jesus. in my heart now. Come in my heart. And fill me. And fill me. With the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. Help me to read your word. Help me gospel, to read your the word, Bible. the gospel, the Bible. And to understand it. And to understand it. And uh, to share it with others. And to share it with others. Without shame. Without shame. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, when I, this is the basic prayer. Amen. Okay, I pray always in a different way, but the points are the same. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So Amen. that's very simple. Yes, it's simple. It's actually easy. If you can just be friendly, it's easy to evangelize. Yeah, and don't go lifting up your religion, your church, your sect. Come to my church on Sunday. Wrong. Yeah, you scare them away. They don't need to go to your <laughs> church on Sunday. They know the church here, the building, they, they avoid it. They don't <laughs> like church building. God doesn't like church building. He even said in the Bible, Acts 7, 48, he said, God does not live there. Amen. Say, God says, I don't live in religious building. What well, I know, I know brethren who wrote in saying that in the church where they go, they don't teach them anything about the end time and they don't mention the end time. And they were writing to us saying, we see this and this happening in the world and what shall we do? Can you explain to us? What shall we do? And then they actually started organizing home meetings in their house, yeah. evangelizing, inviting people to read the Bible, to pray, to grow in Jesus. Yeah. And uh, they feel much better now. They say like we're doing something active for Jesus. Not just going to church Sunday, but during the week evangelizing. Amen, amen, amen. And don't preach the domination. The sheep, the Lord, they don't care if you're Pentecost, if you're Baptist, if you're, if you're Catholic. Amen. Jesus Thank you, Brother Christ. Joseph. I think it was very clear, but I encourage you, dear friends, if you have any more questions about how to evangelize, it is important to learn. So write in, I will be happy to answer you. We love you. God bless you all. Praise God bless God. Brother Joseph. Amen, amen.